Okay, in this part two video, you have at this point, if you do command one, you should see I finished the flat version of the house. So you can see there is no depth to it whatsoever. I just basically traced and created some uh, windows and lines that matched up with the original house. From here, I'm going to take the black arrow, click on the black arrow, take the move tool now, and just move this out of the way. I, I'm going to keep it over here for reference in case I need it, but I'm going to keep it off to the side. And then from there, what I want you to do is take the push-pull tool and begin to pull on different pieces of your house. At first, I'm going to take just one of these pieces up top, and I'm going to pull it up. And then I'm going to kind of turn to the side and let you see sort of the depth of how far I'm going here with the house. And then the other pieces, depending on how the house looks, so again, I'm going to keep referencing this original picture. You'll notice that this top piece comes out, and the bottom piece, it's still going to come out, but definitely not as, not as deep. So right about there is good. And you're going to kind of follow yours as best you can uh, to get that look. And so this is going to come out, and I'm going to actually bring this out the same height as that one. You can see what I'm doing so far right there. And you can sort of you know, mess around with the, with, with the angles here until you get the angle that you'd like. That's fine for now. And I'm going to come up, make this one the same as this one. And you can sort of pull as you pull up, right? So like if I want this one to be the same as this one, all I do is I pull up and then I reference that point by going near it. And then it snaps to it and makes that the same height. If I want to bring it up even more, snap, and now those two are the same. Uh, remember, any lines that you want to separate by using the um, eraser tool at the top here or on the toolbar, you can. So you can do that kind of thing, make it a nice smooth line. And continue to do the same thing for the rest of the pieces. Now, uh, I'm just going to re reposition things a little bit. Command 1, see it from the front. You take the push-pull tool, and I'm going to continue. Sometimes you got to change the angle to get it the way you want, but, but in general, you can see, I think, what I'm doing here. It's pretty simple. I'm just pushing and pulling the pieces up and making them match uh, to wherever I, wherever I would like. Now, once you're done with this whole process here, uh, and, and again, you know, if you have too many pieces maybe that are straight, I'll pull them up, make a little difference in size, make the house interesting. Okay, take that eraser tool, erase the lines. You can erase some of those interior lines, exterior. As long as you can still see it as a solid, you can erase a lot of those lines that were connecting or kind of coming in the way there. You don't need all of them. All right, so you can definitely clean it up by doing that. A uh, few more left. And once you've brought up everything, at least a little bit, all right, uh, a couple more. So I have all these interesting ones. Command 1 again to see it from the front. This is what you're looking at. you got a very interesting kind of play here. Take the eraser, get rid of any other additional lines that you know you're not going to need. Take a look a little loop around it. Check it out. Make sure there's no extra ones here like this one or this. All right, so we get rid of most of them. Now, the only problem that you might run into, i got one last one over here with the push-pull tool, is when you get to about there, maybe a little bit of an overhang is that if I was to look at it from the bottom, you'll notice that it is empty from the bottom. But we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go to camera view. Instead of command one, I'll try bottom, which is command two. And you'll see it from the back. I'll take the hand tool and just kind of move over. Now, I need to fill this in. So I'm going to take the align tool, that little pencil tool that you have, start at the top, on edge, click, go to the bottom, on edge, make it a straight line like that where you see it come up, up as green. And click right, gotta keep it green, keep it green, keep it green, there we go, boom. And as soon as I do that, you see it filled in that back and made it one solid, one solid piece. Now from there, what I also like to do is take the eraser, 
erase any of these extra little pieces that are connected. Just be sure that when you do them, turn it around to the other side and make sure it didn't delete anything. Like you see that, it deleted that side, so that's no good. I'm going to undo. Like that. And what I would like to try to do, maybe this one will work. There we go. Um, and will this one do anything? Let's see on the other side. Well, that one's okay. I could have pulled this out a little bit, which I should have, which was the door. Well, that one's not letting me pull it up now. All right, that's fine. All right, so uh, <clears throat> from here, only other thing I was doing is I was going to the bottom of the house, so which is really be this side. Once you fill up that back the way we just did, go to the bottom of the house, use the eraser tool, erase these lines, all right, and then take the black arrow, click on the bottom, use the follow me tool now, click and create a follow me. And if you look in the bottom corner, you see I'm doing one that's like uh, seven eighths. And then here, this is gonna come down now. So I'm gonna take the push pull tool. Select this inside area and now push it down. Now at a certain point, as I push it down, you'll see a lot of things start to kind of pop up on us, right? So you can decide how far you want to go down before it makes a change to the, I don't want it to make any change to what's happening in the front. So about there looks good. If there's any interior lines that you want to fix, you can just get rid of them. And then we should be good. All right. So you have your house, everything's looking cool with it. You got all your doors and windows and everything else set up the way you want. And then from there, just make sure you go to file and save.